At which point does a photograph become art? It's something that is compelling to others and takes them on a journey. And I always look for things that do that to me. That's when I have a story to tell. And I think that's when it gets into the realm of art. I was always a creative person since I was uh, six years old, essentially. I became a professional musician uh, for about 25 years. And during that time, I, I had a camera since I was probably 16 or 17 or so, but I never had any particular ambition with it. However, that greatly changed in the last 16 years or so. Uh, I lived at, in Los Angeles at the time and had a darkroom business and worked for certain photographers. And some of the work that I was exposed to there really changed my, my outlook on what I, I had to share. I began photographing over a number of years and also trying to find direction, which always has been the, the most difficult part. It happened when I went to document an abandoned tuberculosis sanatorium. This sanatorium is about an hour south of Berlin. It was the largest in the world. Uh, with 60 buildings on 200 acres. And it's essentially a, a photographer's dream. You know, the scenery there is wonderful. But it wasn't that, it was about the reasons behind it, the reasons why and the beauty that it lied in the humanitarian values that were represented there much more than the actual scenery. The challenge was to actually capture the, those moods and those values. I found something that affected me uh, very deeply and all of a sudden I had a story to tell that was not just compelling to me but it was important to me. Uh, I was able to figure out who I am really and what I should be doing. And it's been incredible to see how it affects people that come to see it, because they really go on a journey. After I did the sanatorium project, I was scared to death of what the next thing would be. I figured out that I needed to just simply stay true to myself. And I followed it up with a portrait of the George Peabody Library in Baltimore. And that sparked a new thematic of libraries and other historic places. Historic spaces to me represent values. This morning we went into the Morgan Library and I was excited to be able to capture it because I've started a thematic of libraries and this particular one allows me to actually address the, the ritual of it. There's the library and then there's the rotunda and then there's the study. Well that really describes the whole path of grabbing a piece of literature and then stepping into a different room to actually sit down and pay attention of what's in front of you. These sort of old ways have a fascination to me and I think they really translate into what I still perceive as quality of life. So when you work the way I do it, it's, it's again organically, I'm looking for things to feel a certain way. When you are flying to a different city or in a different part of the country for a couple of days to have a special permission project and you have an hour and a half in the room, you need everything to go perfect. So the right equipment is crucial. I know that I can trust these lenses to capture every, the entire spectrum. More recently I've worked with the oldest lenses in particular, which simply blew my mind. I've never worked with anything of that magnitude before. And moving up to, to Zeiss, well I just said it, it's moving up. And it's moving up as high as I can go, I'm home.